Today I'm doing my first hive inspections and putting supers on. Hello, I'm Griff Fries. Welcome to Green and Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now it's pretty much the first day of beekeeping for me today. I've been through some sites, but we're down on the main site now. We're just putting some supers on. We're just checking some hives, and we're just getting things ready for the summer ahead. Now I've gone down the line and done so. Done about 11, 12 hives so far. Everything's looking pretty good. No dead doubts yet. I think I'm going to have one or two on this side, but overall, exceptionally happy with how things are looking. Now I'm just going to show you what, I do, what I'm going to do today. I'm not necessarily going to do any full hive inspections unless I think a colony is very, very big. I've had to do some already back there. Some of the buckfast bees are just way ahead from what, what I thought they were going to be. But my Welsh blacks, the European blacks, they're just about right, so I'm not going to need, I don't, they don't need a full inspection yet because there's, there's no way they're going to swarm, there's no point wasting my time and energy going through them trying to find the queen or eggs etc when I can just see all that information from the top of the frames. I've got other things that, I, that need doing, I can't spend all day down here, even though I would absolutely love to. So that's so all we're going to be doing today, we're going to take a roof off, look down at the bees, make sure they look quite healthy scrape the wax and the propolis off the top of the frames if there is any we're going to whack a quickening excluder on put a super on and go on to the next one let's get into it okay here we are a Payne's poly hive haven't gone through this yet these are coming to meet me right up the top good sign always a good sign when you're taking the clown wood off and there's no bees there this time of year that's a bad sign that's looking pretty good. Nice quiet bees. You can see these are across predominantly buckfast strain in here, but they've obviously bred with some Welsh blacks. The hive isn't massive, but we're talking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine frames of brood there, no problem. These are not going to swarm, I can just see by them. Um, we're going to go and cut, scrape off all these bits of wax and propolis that they've put on top of the frames. That's going to interfere with the queen excluder. Couple of puffs. Get those bees out the way. And with your hive tool then, just scrape the top. Luckily there's no honey on the top here, if there was I'd have to spread this wax on top of the crown board, give the bees a chance to take that honey back into the hive. But that's all ready. I'm just going to roll that into a ball, take it back and melt that down into beeswax products. It might end up in a beeswax wrap, might end up in a solid block, might end up in a candle. Who knows? But this byproduct is a fantastic material, it's a fantastic resource from the hive. A lot, a lot of goodness in that beeswax, believe it or not. Never throw your beeswax away. Beeswax is actually, at the minute, more expensive than honey. And that's it. That's all I do now. I'll get the queen excluder on and job done. But since I am filming this, might as well show you some bees. I see what they're looking like. Because it wouldn't be a Gwyn and Griff YouTube video if we didn't actually get to see some bees. So they're going through the winter stores there, you can see that's honey. Bees are shining, there's a real shine to them. When they're working, bringing in honey, they're looking the best. Some nice pollen coming in there, bit of stores on the top left. Stores on the back. And just straight away I can tell these are not interested in swarming whatsoever. Very, very quiet bee, that's what the buckfast does do. We've got some brood there, some lovely brood. Solid brood pattern there, some honey up there. And if we see there, got all that fresh pollen that they've just brought in.
they're getting ready for the Queen of Sand Lane 2000 eggs a day. These bees are thinking I can't wait to get some honey in for Griff. Now this, this is how I like to see my bees at this time of year. I don't like it when you're going through them in April and they're absolutely busting at the bream. Because you know, they're just going to want to swarm quite soon. Again, some fresh bees emerged in there. Queen's laid them all up. Nice bit of drone comb come in there. You can see the bees coming in with the pollen. That orange pollen there. That's dandelion. And that light yellow one there, I'm not sure what that is, but that orange one's definitely dandelion. Yeah, I give this hive two weeks and it's going to be a totally, totally, totally different hive. But yeah, very, very pleased with what I'm seeing there. Get the Queen of Sleuther on, super job done. And that's it. That is literally all you need to do this time of year. It's, we're in April now, if you're watching this later on in the year. That's all you need to worry about your bees. There's no need to interfere with your bees. Too early, you're just disrupting them. Because every time you go through a hive fully, you disrupt their day. They're going to put things back to normal and they're going to waste some crucial honey gathering time by doing so. So if you've got no reason to go into the hive, there's no need to go into the hive. Let the bees do what they need to do and you get a lot more honey for it. Obviously you've got to swap the sw stop the swarming, I'll show you on my channel how to do that. But that's all you've got to worry about. Obviously you've got to worry about disease. But this type of first inspection, that's really all you need to be doing. Unless you want to find the queen, clip a marker. That's pretty much the only reason you want to go through the hive now. Well, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to put a new video out every week. Thanks for watching. And before I go, make sure you share this video on your favorite social media platform. See you at the next one.